Hey guys, so this is going to be like a get ready with me, like an actual get ready with me because I'm actually going to be wearing this makeup out to dinner tonight with my friends. So a couple of my friends, they're twins, they're having their 21st night so I'm super excited. We're celebrating with them. So I'm going to be getting ready with you guys, just chit chatting through what I'm going to be doing. I'm not quite sure what makeup look I want. I want super glam. But I don't know if I want like a really like sparkly eye, matte look, like glow, glowy skin. Like I think I'm just gonna get ready and see what I want to do. But I know I do want a pretty flawless like glam look, and I'm not quite sure what the eye look yet either. I have a white outfit, so I'll see if I want to match it with that or not. Otherwise, let's get to it, honeybee. So let's start with the skin first. So I have a few little breakouts here and on my chin like scarring. So I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Self Adjusting Complexion Primer. This is really good to neutralize the skin, get rid of any redness, texture, it blurs out the pores. It is so good to create a nice flawless base. So I'm going to be just whacking this baby, like starting from the center of my face and just working it outwards. Placing a little bit more on the textured areas and any, you know, really red areas. I usually only use about one pump of this because one pump will do you fine, honey. Like a little goes a long way. And I also bring it down my neck because I have a few breakouts there just on the side. But it's also good to prime my neck as well because I do bring foundation onto it. So for foundation today I'm going to go in with my two favourites, my Ready Set Gorgeous 210 foundation in, in the shade Medium Beige and then I'm going in with my Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Creamy Beige. I love these two because my Matte and Poreless blurs out my pores and also keeps me matte for a longer period of time especially because I'm going to be going out clubbing and dancing and things and my Ready Set Gorgeous one is in my Medium Beige colour. And this is slightly a little bit darker for me, so I like to just kind of mix it with a slightly lighter colour to create my perfect shade with my favourite foundations at the moment. So I mix mostly my Race at Gorgeous Medium Beige Foundation because that's my kind of colour. And I just mix a teensy bit of that Matte and Poreless one. So because my skin has been so good lately, I've actually been enjoying a more like less is best kind of look. So I like to still have a few of my freckles and things peeking through my foundation. Because I like that use and it's a more youthful kind of look. And you know, while well, you've got freckles, you might as well flaunt them, honey. Well, that's my philosophy anyways. Um, I still go for like super glam looks, but it's like, it's like not really natural glam, but I don't know, it's like, what would you call it? Natural glam? No. It's just more like it's glam, but with a bit of naturalness peeking through it, I guess. And I've just been really enjoying it. Because I've never really had, like, ever since I've been, you know, using makeup and stuff, I've start, I've, I started really getting into it. <laughs> I started really getting into it at, like, the age of, like, 14, 15. And that's when my skin started to really aggravate up. So I haven't ever really had really good skin to, like, flaunt underneath foundation. So I am enjoying it. If I haven't already, I'm going to be posting up my skin shot update super super soon. I think I might have already posted it up already by now. I filmed it previously this week. On that side note, sorry guys I haven't been posting up as much. Like I used to post up at least a few times a week and now it's only been like one upload a week. I've just been, like work has been really hectic at the moment with like, you know, we're a bit short on like lifeguards so I've had to really like fill in for people and cover shifts and I just, I love work, I love lifeguarding. But I do miss uploading a lot for you guys. So I'm going to knock it down. I'm going to, when I can, like, just film and upload. My goal is twice a week at least. So I'm going to definitely be posting up twice a week, if not more. Like, more uploads. So don't worry. I haven't forgot about you guys. I'm still going to be uploading more. I'm going to get back into it. Because I love filming and, like, talking to you guys and interacting with you. So I'm going to get back into it. I promise. For concealer today, I'm going to be going in with my usual Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Beige or Medium Win, and I'm placing this underneath my eyes and spot concealing any places that I need to, like a few of those acne scars and things like that. And then taking my Sigma F80 Tapered Kabuki Brush to blend it out, and then taking my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and I use this to buff out the edges of the concealer on any breakouts and things to feather them out and not take away that coverage. 
Next I'm going to take my Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline and I'm using this to highlight the high points of my face. It's like a base to add more glow on top of it. Like I really want a glowy skin look today. So, And as you guys know I've been loving this Strobing Liquid like I've used it in the last few tutorials. I just love the glow that it gives and it's a good base to like I said add the extra glow on top of. Like it doesn't make it look like, like powdery or streaky or anything like that. It just creates a more natural glow. So the powders that I add on top don't look so fake. And I'm just applying this on like my décolleté areas, so collarbones and a bit on my neck as well. And I'll be wearing like a like a low cut play suit kind of thing. So I do want it on the body as well. Get that glow on, girl. Next, I'm taking my Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 135, and I'm going to basically press this underneath my eyes and anywhere I place that concealer or where I tend to get oily to matte myself out so it la the makeup lasts longer and I find this just really helps with my concealer like it just won't budge throughout the night like it's so it's such a great technique like my concealer will not crease it's just that good and my eyelids stay like non-creased and I always run it over my pore areas just a light um, dusting of it like whatever's left on the little powder pop to kind of blur them out and highlight the area. Like I said, I do anywhere where I can tend to get oily. So the center of my forehead and chin and cupid's bow with like girl starch area. And I run it over the areas where I place that concealer on like the breakouts. Do you see that glow from that um, strobing liquid? Like, oh, it's just giving me life right now. So I'm going to quickly just run through my brows really quick. It's the same routine. I like to do a bold brow for like a nighttime look. So I'm going to go in with my deep brown and soft brown brow powders from Maybelline, the Master Brow Pro Palette, and just fill in the tail with the deeper brown and the head with the lighter brown shade. And then to set the brows in place, I'm going to go in with my Brow This, Bray, brow this Way Brow Sculpting Gel in the shade Deep Brown. Then I take some of that light shade from either like brow palette, I don't really mind, just the light highlighting shade. I've liked doing, doing this recently, especially for more glam looks. And I grab it on a contour shader brush from Zoeva, it's the 235. And I just basically just press this underneath the bottom of the brows to highlight and to kind of give a bit more shape and sculpt to them. And just kind of drag it down to blend it out. And it's like less harsh than concealer. And then I'm just going to quickly like spritz my face with some of my long lasting all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay to lock my makeup in place because I want the base to really be stuck especially because I am going to be partying and dancing and I don't want to sweat it off. So moving on to the eyes, I'm not going to be doing anything too complicated today because I am in a bit of a rush. So I'm just going to do probably like a almond shaped smoky eye, I don't know. I want something iridescent, so I might use some duochrome stuff, but let's just go on into the crease colour, shall we? So I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette and mix these two brown shades from the palette and use that as my transition colour. And I'm using a 228 Zoeva crease brush to just lightly buff this in the crease and outer corner to map out the shape of my eye and, like I said, use it as a transition colour for the other colours to blend into a lot more seamlessly and smoothly. I always like to make sure that I'm buffing it up towards the tail of my brow so it gives a nice natural like subtle lift to the eyes so my face looks a little bit more lifted whenever I'm doing anything like powder wise like when I was setting my under eyes and stuff I always do it on an upward angle same with my highlighter because I want to give little like subtle lifts to the face so it doesn't look like it's sagging and drooping but it looks young, plump and lifted Next, taking a soft crease brush with that like medium brown shade, I'm going to buff this slightly below the transition colour in the in the like crease area and outer V. And I'm only focusing this on the outer like two thirds of the eye, so I'm not bringing it all the way into the inner corner as you can see. Then taking those transition shades we used before on that same fluffy crease brush from the beginning, I'm buffing out the edges just real quick like. Just really soft little like swiping buffing circular motions. I don't want to use too much pressure, I just want to like keep a light hand and that's how you get that perfect soft blend. And I just go back in with some of that like medium brown shade and place it where I feel like I need to build it up a bit more. 
It's in the very like sockety area. Taking a petite crease brush and some of these two deep brown shades from the same Morphe 350 palette, I'm going to place this on my very outer corner and through the outer crease area, about a third of the way across, creating a nice gradient. And all I'm really doing is like really just letting the brush fall into the socket area right there. And I'm packing on that color first and then just kind of brushing the excess through the crease because I want this area to be the darkest. I'm bringing it slightly above my crease area because I'm going to cut the crease in a sec and I want to be able to see this above the cut crease but as I'm bringing it up I'm using lighter pressure because I do want it to be darkest like right in the crease and like out of V. Taking some of that medium brown shade and buffing it on top of that deep brown to soften the edges and then taking the transition shades right over the outer edges of that medium brown shade to buff those out so it's a real seamless blend. Then I'm just grabbing some concealer on a little eye concealer brush and just carving out my inner crease area so just about two thirds of the way across. And then I'm just kind of feathering out the edges with a blending brush from Real Techniques to soften them up so it's not such a harsh line. And next I'm just taking this creamy white eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just going to set the concealer in place with that. And then taking those two really deep brown shades that we used in the Out of V before, I'm just going to buff out the edges and bring back some of that brown shade so that the white kind of fades in and it's not so harsh. Now that's a bit more of a softer blend, I'm going to go in with my favourite part which is this duochrome loose pigment in the shade Sugar Rush from Makeup Geek. I was packing this on with my finger. Just going in with my brush to crispen up the edges. And because I want it to be a bit more white than blue, I'm going to go in with Ice Queen from Makeup Geek and place this over top. I'm just taking that deep brown shade again and kind of buffing it into the whitey, duochrome shadows. And above the crease, like the outer cut crease area. Next, taking a black eyeshadow, I'm going to place this on the very outer corner of my eye to give that a really deep, like, sexy, smouldery look. I'm kind of keeping it against the lash line and smoking it up. I'm kind of creating like a smoky liner look, I guess. So I went ahead and already did my mascara and lashes and the lashes I went in today with are the Icona lashes from the Midnight Collection in the style Make Him Miss Me. They are so like elongated and feline-y and just like so beautiful. I love them. Next I'm taking a black eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade, <laughs> Shanice said style, in the shade um, Obsidian. It's the black eye one, eye coal, and I'm placing this in my waterline and tight line. And I also brought it down underneath my outer corner lash line a little bit. And I'm just setting my waterline with some black eyeshadow to help it stay in place all night. And also smudging this over the um, eye coal and the outer corner lash line. Next, taking my petite crease brush, making sure I've wiped it off, I'm taking those transition shades from the beginning and buffing out that black. Next, taking those two deep brown shades on a gloss pencil brush, I'm going to buff that closely to the lash line, focusing it on my outer corner. And finally, taking that middle brown shade, that kind of like bricky brown shade, I'm going to buff that underneath the deeper browns to create that transition. So it's like that soft gradient that we have in the crease area on our top lid area. Next, I'm going to place on some Ice Queen and Shimmer Shimmer together for my inner corner highlight and some of Ice Queen on my brow bone. Then I'm just going to place on some bottom lash mascara and the eyes are finished. To finish off the rest of our face, I'm going to bronze first because I want to be a nice bronze goddess today. Yes, babe. So I'm going to take my Micellin bronzer in the shade Barbados Babe and place this on the perimeters of my face and on the nose, chin, jawline and also bring it down onto my body because I, like I said, I want to be a nice bronzed goddess. What I like to do when I bronze my body is I kind of like bronze contour kind of thing. So I suck in my chest. Oh, there's a lot of bronzer in that spot. But I suck in my chest so that all like, like the shadows are kind of prominent and I just kind of buff it into that area. I don't really bother with my shoulders because my shoulders are covered up too today but usually I will go hit those shoulders 
It can be like a little bit more heavy handed because this is a nighttime look, so I'm going to be a bit more heavy handed. To contour, I'm going my contour powder from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade Breakup. It's a nice cool tone brown, and I'm going to chisel out my cheeks and contour my nose with this. And I'm going in with my fan brush to really chisel them out. And I'm really going to chisel up my cheekbones with some pressed powder on a flat, dry um, beauty sponge to really carve out underneath. You guys know that I have a clean beauty sponge. I cleaned all my like brushes and things. I'm so like lazy with cleaning my brushes. I just wipe away the excess powder. I don't really let it bake for that long. I just kind of like put it on and wipe it off. I like I'm so lazy when it comes to like cleaning my utensils, which is like half the reason I get breakouts in the first place. I need to like get on top of it and I always say that I'm gonna and I just don't because I'm so freaking lazy. Oh, what you gonna do though? It's my fault if I get breakouts, like, I take full responsibility. <laughs> For my cheek colour, I'm going to go in with Infatuation from Makeup Geek. It's a gorgeous blush. It's like a muted, kind of rosy, pinky blush. And I'm placing this on the contours and kind of up the temples as well. For highlight today, I'm going to be banging. I'm going to grab um, Moon Gleam from my Violet Voss palette and place this on the high points of my face, so like cheekbones above the brow, nose, cupid's bow and chin. You know, all the usual kind of places that we highlight. <laughs> and then I'm going to set my face with that same Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I'm taking my Sugar Rush Pigment from Makeup Geek and placing this on my cheekbones for a freaking highlight. And also on my body as well because I want to glow, babe. Glow to the gods. For lips, I'm first going with my Zoeva Clear Message Liquid Lipstick. And then I'm going to take my Bonjuris Paris 3D Effect Lip like lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Rose Romantic. And this is the finished makeup look, guys. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm going to wrap up now. I have to go get ready and head off. I love you guys so much, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, my loves.